What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven in Stereo and in today's video we're checking out a new release from MGK. The song is called Don't Let Me Go. Before we get into today's video, I just want to plug my Patreon. I have full uncut album reactions to tickets to my downfall as well as mainstream sellout over on Patreon. We jam the entire album together. I had so much fun with it because prior to that, I didn't know a ton about MGK. And so to be able to dive into those records, um, not only did it show the impact that he had on music at that moment? Cause he really helped a resurgence in pop punk and alternative rock again. Like it, I feel like he was definitely at the forefront of bringing that back to the mainstream, but at the same time, I just learned about him as a person, which was sick. So I'm excited to dive into this. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram. Let's do it. Okay, time out. Before we even get started, a couple things right here that make this just feel real. And I don't know if this is just the way MGK's impact is whenever he puts music out. You can tell he's very passionate. But a couple things right here, just showing this where he's trying to like, you know, catch the catch the uh, melody in his head so he can come out with the flow. The other thing, too, is that they actually let the mic run while he was getting ready to do his verse rather than just dropping right into the verse. You can kind of hear him prepping in. It's very subtle. You can hear him kind of prepping like the melody he's going to do. And I love that because it really humanizes a track. Lately, my thoughts are eating me alive. Late in the bed thinking maybe that hate will finally go away if I'm not alive. Fuck. Wish I didn't listen, just like I wish they would understand me one time. I had a breakdown and tatted my entire body except one line. Everything's just fine. Slipping again, there I go slipping again. I'm acting different again. I see my family's reflection every time I look in the cup and I sip it again. After the sins, tell me after all the sins, will I be mentioned again? Why do I care if in the end it's just me and God like I'm Christian again? Fuck. I feel like there's so much to unpack there, but essentially what we're getting from MGK here is this sort of like introspective moment of kind of like navigating life where he's at. Maybe not even so much that it's MGK, the celebrity, but also just talking about him as a person and kind of the things that he's going through in life, wondering if it's even worth trying to get up the next day, wondering if you know, the emotions that you have are finally going to take over. Uh, you're thinking about your family, you think about all these things, but you're still like sipping drink or you're still like sipping liquor. You're not like, you feel like you care about the things that you care about, but there's almost this piece of it where you feel like, even though you care so much, you're kind of just getting lost in these other things that are kind of taking your time away from those things. Slim Brenda be there. Before my dad left the surf, he made sure I took on every quality I didn't want. I was supposed Ooh. to die at birth. Gave me a chance and I fucked it up. Give me another one. I've been running from secrets I hid as a kid and I never confronted on. I just called mom, said I forgive her for not being there when I needed one. I'm coming back to let me go. Mm. I'm coming back to let me go, yeah. I'm coming back to let me go. I'm coming back, don't let me go. Who am I when the music stops? And the character that I've been playing is really just broken and fucking lost. Oh, see, okay, so this is kind of what I was wondering if we were getting to this point where it almost feels like MGK is thinking out loud to us about the sort of loss of him as a person. Because I think what happens, especially when you're somewhat younger, when you start kind of falling into the fame is that becomes your entire identity. And at some point, like what happens if the career is over? What happens if, you know, you lose your voice or you lose your record deal or, you know, you whatever something happens to you and that's no longer there. Who are you? And I think that when you're young, it doesn't really matter as much. I mean, it, it matters, but you can't tell that it's mattering as much. You're so caught up in the money, the wealth, the fame and all these things. But something does happen where when you're not performing or you're not writing, like you still are a person, but you don't know who that person is anymore. You're so disconnected from your friends and your family and your loved ones and all those things because you are this person. So what happens when you go back? Like when you go back are, who are you? Like, are you the famous guy from here? Or are you the kid that, you know, picked his nose at the table? Like it's fucking, it's gotta be so difficult to navigate. 
I swear I've been telling you over and over again in all of these songs. But they don't hear nothing I'm writing because they're too busy trying to write me off. Ooh. And they go on and on and on. It's funny because if we just sat and talked, you'd see that it's just hard for me to be vulnerable because I blocked it off. I got trust issues growing up. No one was there to hear what I thought. My heart was broken like my ribs as a kid with me and my father fought. Fuck. Yeah, I'm medicating with something that I cannot pronounce, but it's what the doctor gave me. Rehab patient with a pen and some paper. The psychiatrist keeps evaluating. How can I live with the fact that my hand wasn't on a stomach when we lost the baby? I oh. got no one to turn to because everyone's dead in my life that was trying to raise me. Searching for someone to tell me who I really am. I don't know when I look in the mirror. Constantly dreading the day that the audience might not be screaming for me anymore. Feeling See, that right there. The it's that fucking bar right there. The idea. Well, let's listen to it one more time. I really am. I don't know when I look in the mirror. Constantly dreading the day that the audience might not be screaming for me anymore. Feel so he says, like, I'm constantly looking for someone to tell me who I am, which is already like. You know, as soon as you don't know yourself, as soon as you're lost like that, everything else starts to crumble. So trying to find the definition of you from other people, one, that's never going to work, right? Because no one's ever going to know who you really are until you are who you really are. Uh, but the other thing, too, again, it falls right back into what I was saying about the song is that it feels like MGK is struggling with the fact that, you know, we're getting older and, and at some point, like your music career maybe isn't the, the biggest thing as it was. It, it happens to every person that we love. We watch the rise and we watch the fall and it doesn't even have to be a fall so much as just time keeps moving. Right. And, and it kind of forgets about us at times. And he's, it sounds like he's struggling with that. How am I going to get up on what happens if I'm getting up on stage and the crowd isn't screaming who I am anymore? Like, what am I going to do? Am I going to really be lost? Like, I think it's very important for him to even be talking about these things because people don't realize that um, he even said something in a line. I don't want to be annoying, but he even said something in a line. He said, you know, if we were to sit and talk, like I've been telling you guys line through line in all these songs um, that I've been struggling, that this is nothing new. And I think that's really true. I think, you know, sometimes we disconnect these artists from being human beings. And so we're jamming the music, but we're not really listening. Uh, I think a really great example is Linkin Park. I think p growing up as a child, I screamed those songs, not realizing just how fucking sad and how much Chester was struggling. And like, you see those kind of things that happen time and time again, look at Nirvana, look at all these bands. And I think MGK is just trying to say like, there, there is this road that I have to cross where I have to decide like, who am I as a person or am I only going to be this thing that people put on this pedestal? Like I'm dying alone and not leaving anything behind is my biggest fear. Kiss the person that I love as if I'm never coming back after I leave out the door. Oof. I'm coming back to let me go. I'm coming back to let me go, yeah. I'm coming back to let me go. I'm coming back, don't let me go. Oh, yeah. I'm coming back to let me go. He always has so much emotion in his music. I'm coming back to let me go, yeah. I'm coming back to let me go. I'm coming back, don't let me go. Yes. I feel like there is so much from MGK that is yet to be discovered from me. I feel like you know, he has an entire like hip hop career that I've almost never listened to. Um, I really got into MGK's music whenever he put out um, tickets to my downfall, because I think that was really cool to see somebody who I could tell really loved and appreciated that music, bring their version of that to life in a way that was truly incredible, not just from a sonic um, level where it just sounded fucking perfect for the style that it was. And you could tell that it was MGK's own version of that. But I thought the lyricism was incredible, not only matching themes that I would want from that genre, but also that emotional depth. It's where I started to realize that MGK, it's not, he's not just a character. Like I could tell in those songs that that shit meant something and that it was coming from the heart. And I think that that's exactly what you get in a song like this too. I feel like I'm getting that same style. This feels like an emo ballad. The cool thing is the cadence that MGK is able to deliver in this gives it a hip hop flow. And again, because that's something that MGK was very skilled at, obviously is still very skilled at. I feel like it just, it caters to this so wonderfully. I mean, we are getting so much emotion from him here and 
I think like I definitely vibe with this on another level because I'm like I think the same age as MGK. Maybe I'm a little older than him, but I understand this sort of weird moment where like as you're getting older, people always say like, you know, oh, you'll understand when you get older. And like, I always thought like, okay, whatever, that doesn't mean anything, but it seems like my brain, like my brain, your brain, everyone's brain literally does as you get older, kind of like start to reevaluate things. And I don't know if it's that you just get closer to the understanding that at some point you will not exist anymore. Or at some point, you know, you start to realize that nothing is forever. And at that moment, things that matter to you start to change. And it almost feels like MGK is going through that. It almost feels like all this fame and money and success and stardom, while it's very important and still maintains like a very important piece of his like life, there's another piece to MGK and that is the person And the older that he's getting, the more it kind of seems to me, the more he's starting to understand that he has to find who that person is because nothing, none of this stuff is going to be forever. And there is going to be a point when people aren't screaming MGK's name anymore, because whether it's while he's alive or hundreds of years from now, this is just what happens. Time will forget all of us. And I think that battling that in an open, you know, fucking session like this in music is incredible so mgk is obviously hitting us with some very real shit that i absolutely feel impacted by and i hope you guys you know are picking up that same kind of vibe i'm sure that it's even deeper than that but just on the first listen surface level that's what i'm picking up from this is it just seems like i need to find out who i am now to find happiness for the rest of the life that I am going to live. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it's a little bit heavier, but I feel like that is what you get with MGK. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out Patreon. I will see you guys all in the next one. Peace.